I found the Minecraft hacks and tricks with the least views on the entire internet. Today, we're going to be making them better and actually work so they can go viral. How many of our hacks will go viral? Watch until the end to find out. So our first TikTok today only got 22 views. It's okay, man. I'm about to help you go viral in just a minute. From what I can tell, he's building a redstone repeating a clock. And this is going into what? A note block? That's it. <sighs> now, in my opinion, for anything to go viral, it has to work on all the versions of Minecraft. So once we're done, all of these hacks are going to work on both Bedrock and Java Edition. So this is literally all he built, a repeating redstone circuit. We can turn it on with a redstone torch, and it just plays this one singular note over and over again. I'm not annoyed. 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 Okay, get rid of that. No, no way. Okay, man, I'm going to help you make this go viral. We're going to upgrade this into an awesome repeating drum beat because that is just infuriating. And all the items you're going to need, guys, are here. 27 cobblestone, 2 glass, 2 sand, some note blocks, 17 redstone repeaters, and an oak button. Okay, let's get started. So first off, we're going to build out this going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, no, 11 and 12. I'm going to build this six on the other way. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then bring this all the way back here, guys. We're basically creating a giant version of this repeating redstone circuit. But we're going to leave two blocks here and connect it like so. So you've got a little bit of a pattern. So first, we're going to place down our button. This is going to be the start of our repeating redstone loop. Then we're placing a redstone repeater with no ticks. Now, we want to change this first block from cobblestone to sand. That's super important because this is going to produce our beautiful snare sound instead of just a bass drum. So we have the snare first. Then we're going to have uh, two repeaters here. This one on full ticks. This one only on one. Then we're going to have a note block on top of the cobblestone for a bass drum sound. Then we're going to place another repeater here, full ticks onto a note block. And then another repeater with no ticks and then a note block here. But we're going to make these a little bit more fancy. We're going to put a glass block on the left here and place a note block above that. This is going to produce a hi-hat sound. So we have a snare, two bass drums, and then a bass drum and a hi-hat. Then we're going to go red to repeater here, guys, and then put that on one tick, a note block here. And we're going to need one, two on full ticks, and then that on two ticks. Then we're going to have another one here. This one on full ticks, and this corner is also going to be our sand, so another snare drum. And then we're going to place uh, one here on full ticks, a repeater, one on two ticks, a note block, and then another repeater here on full ticks, a note block, one on no ticks, a note block, a glass block for another hi-hat. And then finally, guys, coming on the home stretch here, guys, we've got one on two ticks, our note block, then this one here on full ticks, one on two, a note block, and going into here, guys, on, uh, on three ticks like so. Oh, wait a minute, I stuffed up. This one shouldn't be on full ticks, it should just be on three. And voila, guys, we got ourselves a much nicer sounding repeating redstone circuit. You guys want to hear it? Get ready, three, two, one. Check it out, guys, we got an actual drum beat going on in Minecraft. If I could rap, I would rap over this. Okay. Yeah. Cows, pigs are in Minecraft. Yeah. Mm. Boop, boop. Now, our next video from Aesthetic Minecraft Zero has even less views with only 15. I'm not sure whether that's because of the video or the fact that everything's sparkling like crazy. Now, we've got here a farm. Don't tell me that's, is that actually it? I mean, they tried to do a bit of decoration. They use lanterns, some soul soil, and some path blocks. But bro, that's literally just fences. That is the most basic farm I've ever seen. Now, if you want to blow the socks off your friends, you need to ditch the fences. First off, I'm going to build out my farm. I'm going to make it seven by seven, but you can make it as big as you want. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to build a perfect square. Now, the great thing about the honey here, guys, is you can build your farm in any shape you like, but you need to make sure the outline of your farm is fully honey block. Trust me, hang tight. This is going to look really awesome when we're done. We're going to start here using our spruce logs, placing one. One here, one here. We're going to build these on the outline. We're going to go one in the corner here, in the corner on this side, this side, and over here. And we're also going to place one in the middle of each side, except the side with that. Okay, so we'll place one there, one here, and one here. That's going to create our outline, which is really going to add a lot of pizzazz to our farm. Then I'm thinking we got to finish off this gate, so we'll put in some cobblestone walls above here, some dark oak fences above here, and then some slabs just above like so. We're going to use the dark oak ones. I'm going to place one, two here. And then what you want to do is crouch and place one below here, one coming off here. We're going to destroy that. So that way it's got like this nice little uh, curve in it. We're also going to add in some dark oak fences, one here, one here, and then the dark oak fence gate. And that's literally all the fences I'm going to use. I promise, all right? It's just that this is a perfect gate block. All right, now that we're done, we're going to do the rest of the walls here. And I'm going to use trapdoors. So we're going to place one, 
and then a two, three, four, because right now, now we're gonna go ahead and activate all of them, and they should face in like so. That's really important. It just looks really nice having this, you know, outer and inner layer. But we can do even more than that, guys. I'm gonna grab myself Dark Oak Trapdoors, and I'm place one on top of each of the corners here, just to add a little bit of dimensionality, and then we're gonna place a slab on each of these middle ones. So our farm's looking pretty great, except for the center with all this honey. But luckily, we can go ahead and cover this up with some green carpets. So let's go ahead and do that here, guys. Here, you can kind of bring this in just to add a little bit more design. And finally, some coarse dirt here, guys, just like so, to add a little bit of texture. And we can also use the shovel to add in some path blocks. You're probably thinking, EY Strip, they're just gonna jump out. No, they are not. They actually cannot escape. You wanna know why? Because these honey blocks stick mobs to the ground. So no matter how hard they try and jump out, they won't be able to escape the farm. Also, still bring animals into your farm. All I have to do is go ahead and open up the trap door. In you come. And then I can go ahead and close up that trap door and jump straight out. You think the last video had no views? This has even less with only two views. And one of those views was me, guys. So I'm assuming the other view was probably the person who made it. They just watched their own TikTok. But what are we building? We're building some sort of bed design. And to be perfectly honest with you, it doesn't look that ugly. Oh, I get it. It's so you can sleep under the blankets. That's kind of cool. I get it. But we can do so much better. Like, sure, I get it. It's a cool concept. You're sleeping under the blankets of the bed. However, you're sleeping. And it doesn't even look that cool. I mean, you can literally see underneath the bed. Like, you've got this giant gap here, guys, and we can just do so much better. So let me show you how we're going to do so much better. We're going to place down a regular old bed. No fancy things around the side that look super bulky and clunky. That's our first step, you guys, and I want us to be able to sleep under the covers and actually see ourselves sleeping under the covers, because otherwise, what is the point? So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to break out the blocks underneath our bed, and we're going to break this block here and switch it to whatever the rest of our wall texture or floor texture is. Then we're going to place one slab block below our bed and then coming up the side here we're going to place stair block facing in so you've got like this little gap going on below our bed then we're going to break out the wall behind our bed here guys and you want to place a block here with two rails facing down into the bed now you're probably thinking why would i do that well, because we're going to chuck a minecart into our bed. Check this out, guys. Because of the slab there, it's going to glitch through the pillow. Ready? Three, two, one. Give it a little bit of a push. And bang, it's shoved itself inside of the bed like so. Now we can destroy those rails, destroy that, and put our wall back. Because uh, then it would just look weird to have a giant hole in the side of our wall. And now, guys, you can actually jump inside the minecart here and sleep inside the bed below the covers during the day, during the night. And you can see it. Plus, because it is a normal bed, you can just use it as usual. However, seeing this giant minecart on the side is kind of ugly. Luckily, I've got a solution for that too, guys, here. We're going to place a sticky piston behind the wall, a bookshelf, then a redstone dust above the piston. Cover that up put a lever here and now we can push out this bookshelf and we can actually go ahead and then close this up when we want to go into the bed jump in the bed like so and then so it looks cool to our friends we can close up this lever and your friends will be like what how in the world are you doing that sleeping below the blankets of your bed and you can just laugh and giggle to yourself and you can come out you can even go ahead and get it from this side it's just a little bit trickier but all around this one would go viral right it's sideways let me just rip my head to the side how to float on air in minecraft okay this isn't uncomfortable for my neck at all First crouch and go to the end of a block. Uh-huh. Okay. Now now what? There's only got 16 views, guys. What do we do? Next, get up and you do that, That's it. Are you kidding me? I broke my neck muscles for that. You know what would go viral? If you could actually float on air and walk on air. Luckily, I know how to do it. All you're going to need are four command blocks, just like so. Now, the first one we're going to put down... We're gonna make sure it's facing upwards, so make sure this little arrow is going up. Open this up, and this needs to be on block type repeat, and then redstone needs redstone, and when you wanna turn it on, we can put it on always active. But we're gonna keep it off for the time being. Now, the command here is an execute that basically puts invisible blocks below your feet as you walk on air. Now, if you wanna use this in your own world, just take a screenshot or pause the video and copy this down. Super important, you get it exactly the same as this or it's not going to work. Once we've done that, guys, we're gonna grab our chain command box and we're gonna place a one, two, and three. Make sure you're placing these all from above. Then in this next command to you guys, this one should be block type chain and redstone always active. And here you've got another execute. Again, pause the video if you want to copy this down. And then above here, another chain always active with this command. And then finally, guys, we've got another chain always active with this command here. This basically means that as you walk through the air, guys, it also removes the invisible blocks behind you so you don't have invisible blocks just sitting around everywhere in your world. Now, when we want to go ahead and activate this, let's grab ourselves a lever. We'll chuck this down on the bottom and hit it. 
and now we can walk on air. Now, here's the interesting thing. You can also still walk on the ground. And if I jump, I'm not going to start walking on the air. The way to start it, guys, so you don't suddenly start walking in the air all the time, is you got to come off to an area that is at least two blocks above the ground. And we're going to jump. And boom. Check it out, guys. I'm standing in the end. Now, you may be thinking, but it was true. You're in creative. You're just flying. No, I'm not. Let me switch into survival mode. You guys, you can see I'm in survival. And check it out. I can actually jump in the air and I can jump up. If I look up, I can go higher into the air like so. And then if I want to go down, all I have to do is look down towards the ground. And I am walking in the air like nobody cares, guys. How awesome is this? Now, this is the kind of thing that will go viral. So, TikToker, take notes right now. Now, that is what I call dope. Wow, an actually working cactus farm. I'm honestly surprised. That's pretty cool. You can produce a ton of cactus and you can use that as dye or fuel. This is honestly the best TikTok we've seen all day. And that would also explain why it has the most views with 57 views and now is giving us an actually cohesive tutorial on how to build this cactus farm. However, it didn't go viral. So here is the same cactus farm design we saw in the video. Pretty straightforward. The cactus grows, hits this oak fence block, gets destroyed, jumps in the water, flows into this hopper, and into this chest. Now, how can we make this better? We create a farm that automatically turns it into bone meal. I think that would be pretty cool. So let's get started. Now, to fit this in, we're actually going to need to build this cactus portion a little bit higher. It's going to build up one, two, three, four blocks here, guys. And then this is a five both ways. So one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. And we just want to go ahead and fill this in. We're using stone bricks here, guys. A little bit of an upgrade. Our house stand over there already looking way cooler. Then we're going to use spruce planks, which in my opinion look great with stone bricks. I'm going to build this up one, two. And we want to basically surround our entire platform here with our spruce planks. And that way our water isn't going to flow out and neither are our cacti. So we'll bring that right around till it comes here. Boom, boom, ba-dum, bang, bam. And then we're going to copy this again using our sand here, guys. One in this corner, one here, one here, and one here with spaces between all of those, guys. And then we're going to build up our oak fences. That needs to be three tall. And then we'll build this out coming one, two, three. Oh, three and four, just like so, guys. And we can place one cactus growing on each of those. Now, what we need to do is go ahead and grab ourselves our water bucket. You want to put that in the top right corner. This is going to flow the cactus down to this corner. And you guessed it, we're going to put our hopper there. But not yet. We want to add our bone meal portion. So, below this block, you guys, in this bottom left corner, we're going to place a composter. And then below this, we're going to leave a space. And then we're going to place a double chest like so. Then go ahead and crouch. Place a hopper above the double chest coming down from that uh, composter there. And then above the compost, we're going to break out this block and put in our hopper. Now, guys, automatically, this cactus is going to fall into the water, into this hopper, go into this composter. It's going to produce bone meal, and it's going to come out in this chest. You guys just wait a few seconds, and we'll begin to start seeing bone meal appearing in this chest. And boom, check it out, guys. We've already got our bone meal filing into here. Already got 66 bone meal. How awesome is this? This is a really effective way to produce both cactus and bone meal. And if you want to just collect cactus, you could just stand here and wait for the cactus to come to you. How good is that, guys? That! is how you upgrade a TikTok, guys. And honestly, I think the right side would go viral. Now, if you guys have loved the builds today, if you thought they were going to go viral, make sure to subscribe because we've got plenty more where that came from. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, AOS, you're out. Bye.